Hey, this is On the Couch at Music City SF. I'm your DJ, Stefan Aronson. I'm here with Luke Sweeney. Yeah! I'm so excited. We got our whiskey. Drinking a little bit and hanging out on the couch with Luke Sweeney. I'm on the couch with Luke Sweeney. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the couch with Luke Sweeney. With Luke Sweeney. Cut. I'm on the couch with Luke Sweeney! Oh, yeah. yeah, right on. Hey. You can put your glasses back on. You look pretty cool. I got glasses. Shouldn't you be allowed to have glasses? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. We are in Studio 16, which is okay because we got a brand new couch. We got a brand new paint on the walls. Yeah. Um, we're like trying to make the studio kind of cool. So this is pleasant. Look at all this space I we know. have. Like, past videos have been like six people sweating on a couch together. Oh yeah, so so we we don't have an entire band to interview, but you're like, I got this. Yeah, I can do I can do pretty good impersonations of the rest of yeah, the Yeah, so first do an impression of yourself. So this is Luke Sweeney doing Luke Sweeney. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so wait. Hold on. I don't know what that chord is, but um you know that part that comes right after the the G? Let's Let's do that mm -hmm. chord. Um, and that's Luke softer. Sweeney doing Luke Sweeney. Okay, this is uh, Brett Eastman, drummer, percussionist extraordinaire. Well, no, because see, you have the right wingers, they're, they've got their own agenda. And I'm not gonna go further than that. Okay. Okay, uh, this one is uh, Roberto Pagano, bassist. Roberto Pagano. Slash drummer. Yeah, bassist slash drummer. Could be like a baseball player, too. He sounds like an outfielder. Roberto Pagano, in a nutshell. Here's the best impression I got. Here he goes. No, I mean, I'm, I'm watching this cat for my friend, and it's... <laughs> The cat wants to sit on my lap. I'm not even sitting down yet. He's already trying to jump on my lap. It's a pointless animal. Okay, this is uh, Joe Centarpia, bassist. You have a lot of bass players in your band. Yeah, this rhythm section is really a little a bit lot of, misallocated. He has a lot of bass and a lot of drums. It's just like and on bass and drums. And um, Joe Centarpia, bassist. Oh, oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, then I'll just, oh, then just throw it all in there. And then he passed out? Probably, yeah. Wait, were you just doing a Luke Sweeney impression? Yeah, this is Stefan Aronson doing Luke Sweeney. I work so hard. I work so hard. I've got three drummers and three bassists. I work so hard. I, I sometimes when I see a couch, I pass out on it. Okay, I pass out. Okay, cool. I work so hard. Get on with this interview. Can I keep my glasses on? Totally off. Totally off. I would never. Could I would never. Hey, this is my on. impersonation of Rohini Marathi. Guys, shot. <laughs> Do a tequila shot with me. Do it. <laughs> and then she passes out. Yeah, that's that's accurate. Yeah, that's life on the road with Luke Sweeney. Find it at a YouTube channel near you. Okay. All right. So, so Luke Sweeney telling Stefan Aronson how long he's been the band Luke Sweeney, self-titled Luke Sweeney. So I recorded a album uh, back in 2012 in the living room of a house in Hayward, California. I know where that is. It's right you next. You know the exact uh, house I'm talking about with the feral cats Casually. in the backyard. Casually. No, so I recorded that with some friends of mine on an Otari eight track. With so half inch reel to reel, music. 
tape. <laughs> it's not eight bit. It's not eight bit. No, it's okay. eight different, eight track. Okay. So that album was called Ether War, and yeah, that was my my first. Where can you find that one? Uh, you can find it on my Bandcamp, and that's about the Spotify. Oh uh, yeah, it's on Spotify. With like your pretty mug on it and some hair and. It's like all soft focus and like. Uh, hi, I'm Luke. I'm, hi, hi, I'm Luke. Hi, I'm Luke Sweeney. Hi. Hello, soft focus. Uh, I play rock and roll to your heart. Well, I was actually writing some lyrics. It was a candid shot. I had, I had the guitar in the background. I was kind of, as I often am want to do, I was writing, uh, you know, things very quickly right before I was about to go record i think the very next day or something and uh so you know the guitar i think is somewhere in the shot like on the oh you're doing are you doing a luke sweeney thing right now Just trying to learn how to be rock and roll like luke sweeney i got a lot less to work with than cut than, but yeah cut basically that was a, a pretty candid shot my lady took of me and the funny thing about it is that I, you know, being the self-released uh, album that it was, I, uh, you know, used that photo and put the the words of the uh, the the title of the album, Ether or, up there by myself, using a computer, and I used one of the letters to block out the image of the remote control, the TV remote control that was sitting there on the table along with my cocktail when did counterculture pick you up uh shout out to counterculture group uh victor had me on his radio show when he was at KUSF a couple years ago. actually yeah right after like i i self released ether or you're like what do you what do you what do you actually really sorry, do sorry there's something oh, wrong with my yeah this i can fix it thing is Thank you. you. Fixed. Uh, what percentage of your shows are done with your bandmates and what percentage of your shows are done solo? I don't calculate things in terms of percentages. I calculate what them in terms weight of... weight of your shows okay. is done with bandmates and what weight of your shows are done solo? Like five pounds versus like ten pounds? Um, well, it's all, well, it's all... It depends on the, the uh, time frame we're talking about. April. So this, this is April. Yeah, April. This month, <laughs> you will have all missed an incredible performance by myself at Bottom of the Hill this past Friday night. Gosh, how was it? How was your show last Jeez. week? Jeez, how was? Hey, so you just had a show. How was it? Oh man, electric I can't. Pedal. I can't. Bottom uh, of the Hill. Loop pedal. Yeah. Electric pedal. Yeah, electric looping pedal. How was it? Dude, it was amazing. Oh, Are you, you kidding? Missed it. You guys missed it. Uh, How many managers do you have? Uh, I have a, a personal, uh, obviously a fitness well, yeah. manager, a pet manager. Do you have a dog? No, I have a cat? pig. I have a pig. Seriously? That's my pig. That's my cat. What's what's that cat's name? Port. I have an idea. I would like to break into our selfie mode. It's probably my favorite part of the show. It's when we go, hey, audience, get let's get a little more personal here. We're, you're so far away. Get closer. Like, and then we do selfies. Um, so this is when we get a little bit personal. You can decide glasses or no glasses. I'm keeping mine on. Um, favorite venue in the Bay Area? Uh, well... Jeez, uh, I mean, and by that I mean we're going by best performance ever, best like you just brought okay. it. Okay. Well, then I'll just say uh, brick and mortar music hall. Okay. Uh, I like that place. I like it too. And yeah, they're like family Ebony, there. Ebony's pretty cool there. I don't know if you've dealt with Ebony. I've much. never met her in person. I've. You well, know, she's great at emails and Facebook. Then she is. Yes. Yeah. Are we Take out of this mode yet? Yeah, right. we're still in selfie mode. <laughs> okay, so. Um, favorite Bay Area band? Number one. The top three Bay Area you bands. You said five. Why are you top re reducing five. it? Two bands. One. I'm going to name two bands that are not actually living in the Bay Area okay. anymore. Go. What? Uh, I'll <laughs> start with the obvious one. 
Number one. The OCs. The OCs. Doesn't live in San Francisco. Number two. Uh, Sugar Candy Mountain. Recently re- relocated to Joshua Tree, basically. Mm, interesting choice. They, uh, Palm they Desert. like drugs? Uh, they like cheaper rent. If that's cool. Number three. Eternal Drag. It's uh, Logan's side band. Logan of the Dodos. Nice. And a couple of my friends are in it. Uh, You know who you are. Friends. You know who you are, friends. Number four. Let me just put my friends Hot Flash Heat Wave up on the board. Uh, Yeah. They're cool. they're great guys. We've played a lot of shows together, and it's always fun. Uh, number five. Uh, nope, this is number one. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Tim Cohen. He's got the fresh and onlys. He's got magic trick, and he's got himself, Tim Cohen. Or as I like to call him sometimes, Time Cone. If you just do a little letter scramble on his name. Yeah, true. Uh, what's your one-year plan with uh, Luke Sweeney? Official like release show for a seven-inch that uh, is pretty special. It's a square, clear plexiglass. Nice cut. What are your big plans for the next year? Uh, get my uh, garden in order. And figuratively or like literally or literally like with the band my backyard like get my garden in order yes that's my big okay. plan that's pretty I like it uh, I mean I hope to drop an album yeah uh, so one year plan covered what is your five year plan Luke Sweeney's five year plan you heard it here first on music CSF couch five year plan to perform a nice Nice, nice duet with the founding members of Destiny's Child. Uh, can I hold you to that? Uh, Say that people were entertained with this interview and they're like, man, I love that Luke Sweeney guy. He's hilarious. All that improv and acting. I got to <laughs> I gotta look him up on the social medias. Where would they look up Luke Sweeney on the social medias? Here. E-L-S-W. E E N S L Sweens on, on Instagram. Instagram. What Twitter? La La Luke's L A L A L U K E S. Facebook. Facebook dot com slash Wet Dreams Dry Magic. That was an old band name. We don't. Why are all your ads different? This is my advice. Luke Sweeney doesn't have to take it. He might take it, but on all all your social networks, make the ads the same. I know you want to cut this, but hey. When I was a young lad growing up, the only way that I would find out about a musician or a show even was either by hearing something on the radio or walking into a record store and seeing a cassette tape that was prominently featured such as the case with Nirvana's Nevermind which is you know I think it was only chance that I picked it up I didn't even know anything about that record or that cassette Uh, or you go to the actual show itself or you get a physical little flyer now i know it's not cool to cut down trees to make flyers but my point is that if you really love music and you really want to pursue things then you should work harder than just getting on your computer and googling stuff on the internet you should be you know walking around shaking hands with strangers and uh making new friends and accepting their weird flyer, especially if it's a paper flyer and not like one of those glossy flyers. Cut. This is a new segment I like to call counseling the bandmate. 
Um, this is when we get serious, because sometimes bands think it's still 1980, and that having the same at symbol for your band on all the social networks is not important. Why can't they just go down to the local record store and just do a little bit of discovery, you know? Put a little work into it. Um, I'd like to talk to you. See, things things are not like that anymore. See, people are lazy and they don't want to go to the record store and like read the back of records and be like, I really like the sound of this and what this guy stands for and all that kind of stuff. No, see, because um, I just want you to know that th that like it's all about Instagram now and it's all about um, taking a really good selfie. Um, did you? Did you? I think he fell asleep. I think I think Luke Sweeney fell asleep again. Oh man, cut. She never saw